Welcome to Nintendo Engineers. I'm your host, Chris Tysis, and we're here to talk about Quake, the game that came to um, you know, PS4 and probably Xbox and the Nintendo Switch, which was a pleasant surprise to, um, to get that game for the Nintendo Switch. But there is a new update that has come along, which is fantastic. There's a whole bunch of new things that are coming along. So um, the first, the first main update, which has basically been released, um, I think it was December second, which is a bit over a week ago. But um, here's some of the info in case you haven't heard yet. The horde mode has all new multiplayer uh, player versus enemy experience designed by Machine Games. Supports one to four players or bots and local multiplayer and online modes, which is fantastic. Playable on all difficulty levels, and there are four new maps designed for this mode. The rules are score points by killing enemies, kill multiple enemies in quick succession for bonus points. Your progression is reset after the last player dies. Every third wave has boss monsters, but once you clear it, you get a silver key to unlock more weapons and items. After the ninth wave, you get a gold key to unlock the exit, or you keep fighting as long as you are able to. Monsters have a chance of dropping uh, quad damage and the pentagram of protection. So power ups last for five seconds once picked up, and despawn if not picked up after after um, ten seconds. So that's the horde mode. The new add-on um, is the honey add-on. So it seems like uh, sort of it basically says here, expand your Quake experience with the free honey add-on and delve deep into the darkness to conquer a deadly plague infecting the land. For a unique look behind the curtains, check out, there was an interview that they've talked about. So that seems pretty cool. And some improvements to all platforms. The auto aim... Um, has been improved a bit. Crosshair color has been changed. Add-on menus can now be used to play previously downloaded add-ons while offline, which is great. And text chat and push to talk voice chat are now available in pre-game lobbies, which is great. Uh, and there are a range of skins in Quake, Champions, and Doom Eternal, which is pretty cool. And that's I think that's more to do with um, logging on to um, different platforms and things like that. Um, hang on, Nintendo Switch users can unlock the Ranger Slayer skin in Doom Eternal alongside update 6.66 in early 2022. So you've got to um, look to the Slayers Club for that type of update. And um, for the Nintendo Switch in general, some of the bug fixes, Dead Zone and other sliders should no longer have unselectable values and fixed achievement pop up getting cut off when the pause menu is at. So <clears throat> that's um, a pretty cool update. I did stream that game probably a couple months ago or when it first released actually um, and I enjoyed it a lot and I think we might sort of try and play that game once again. I think that would be um, quite cool to do. So let me know if you're going to be um, buying Quake or getting into this new update that's come out and um, let me know in the comments. So like and subscribe as always. And um, that's it for me. I'll see you next time.